Okay, now we've got here variables, right? So let's let's go ahead and just like we did last time, let's go ahead and separate those, right? Square root of x cubed. This denominator simplifies, doesn't it? Let's simplify that because we know we've got x squared. We've got x squared times x to the first, right? So remember, so we have three x's here, right? x cubed, x times x times x. Groups of two x's, that's x squared, right? And so we're going to pull one x out of the radical. Square root of x squared is x. So I can rewrite the denominator as x root x. And now I need to, I need a pair for this x inside the radical, right? I need a pair. I need another x in there so that I can then pull out the other group of two. So I'm going to multiply by square root of x and square root of x. So that now I have the two x's that I need in this group, right? In this group to pull another x out to multiply times this x. So in the numerator you've got square root 13x. Okay, but down here now you have this x times this x, which is x squared. Okay, nice and rational. All right, beautiful. And then number six, let's see, we're going to separate that. And we're separating here. We need another 3 and another y so that we have two of each, right? That would be like a perfect square under the square root. So one more 3 and one more y. Anything we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. Multiply across, we get square root of 3xy in the numerator over. So this is the square root of 9y squared, right? Or if you want to think of this as 3 squared y squared, because you just put two 3's there. And so again, square rooting a square, right? These are inverse operations. So if this is just 3y, and that's our answer.